Divas. I have a What's in Wanda's work basket today. This is some goodies from three different companies that I want to show you. Um, I wish they would put their the company name on the return address because who knows, right? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. I hope you filled out your member questionnaire for the drawing coming up. I'll mention the date of the drawing a little bit later. First, I want to show you First, I want to show you what's in the little box. This was part of Diamond Art Club's anniversary. And if you were a Diamond and Ruby member, you got to pick one free. They're still on sale, still, at Diamond Art Club. And this was a special gift. postage for it. I'm like, yay! And you got to pick one of two. This, I got the happiness one. It's a candle. It's a lemon leaf and wood candle. Let's get into this. Lemon leaf and wood candle. Oh, I smell it already. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. oh, I need another one to do with my devotions. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. It's a joyful scent. It's got gold writing on it. It says Diamond Art Club, happiness. It says lemon leaf and wood scented candle. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it is, how many ounces? Uh, 220 grams or 7.7 .7 ounces. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells fabulous. I wish they had uh, <laughs> smell aroma <laughs> that you could put with your YouTube videos because that would be awesome. Let's see. I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, I'm going to burn it today. I don't even think my husband would have a problem with that. Lemon and wood. He has a problem with floral scents, with some floral scents. So that wouldn't even be a problem. Okay, now, this one I got from overseas. I can't remember while I'm doing this where I got it, but it'll be in the description box below or printed at the bottom of the screen. I wanted to see what this was all about. So, okay, I think I got one of each from this company. What this is, is a different way to frame. Now, you know what, why don't I go get one of my smaller pieces and we can frame one of those. Hang on a moment, please, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had a, uh, a diamond painting that I have to fix. So um, I had it laying around. What I would do, and what I'd probably do with this one just for, just to get it framed, is I would mount it on foam core board. That's two pieces of, of um, paper outside of a foam center. You can get that at the dollar store or whatever. That's how I would mount this. And I would just, as it is, with the charts and everything, not cutting off the edges, because I'm, if I'd use this, this is the way i do it. I would spray it. I'd use a spray tack, and I would mount it to the foam core board. Then, what I would do is I would take one of these, and I'm not saying to do this to your really, the big, gorgeous, fabulous heirloom pieces that you do, but a lot of us, like to use the discount stores as well. As long as it's not an image that that can be licensed, that should be licensed to somebody, not a stolen image. This is a roll out frame with the sticky back. Okay, you peel it back and you stick it. And what you do, 
that would look kind of pretty on the end of that. So I would use this as a fake frame on it. Now, if I was doing a craft show, I wouldn't sell it like that. It's kind of like ick, you know. I would miter the corners. And my decide, I, I kind of like this with it. What do you think? You like this color with it? It's kind of why I chose it. Um, this is the gold. There's also a, I'll show you the other colors as well. There's a kind of like a, um, a white and sand marble look. I don't like that on there. It looks dirty. I'm not sure I like this. Well, you know, it's cheap. It's absolutely super cheap. That's all it is. So if you have ones that you liked the look of it being framed, even though... Um, even though this is a super cheap frame, it's all right. It's okay. You can use it. It's easy to use and work with. And I'm, I'm telling you, there are a lot of these super cheap ones that we really like that we'd like to frame up in some way, but we don't want the, the expense of the frame costing more than the diamond painting did. Here's a white. That's not terrible with it. It's a white. So we have the white. We have the gold. We have the... Uh, the brown and white one. So far I'm still liking the gold better. So the three colors together. This is the same, no it's not the same thing. Okay. This is a white and yellow, like a white and gold modeled. You see that? I don't know if I, I, I wouldn't use it on this painting though. So this is the, the colors we have so far. Maybe I should put the scissors down on it. Maybe it would be it. Put it down. There's a blue. I'm sticking to everything over here. There's a light blue. It's not terrible. I wouldn't use it on this, but like I said, it's foam. What are you going to do? It's not like a foam foam. It's like a plastic foam. Okay. <clears throat> and the last one is a black. So those are your colors from this company. Maybe I can bring it in a little bit so you can see them. The black, the blue, the white and yellow, the white and like a brown modeled. You have a white and you have a gold. I'm going to use the gold for this. And I will put the measurement, uh, I will measure it and put the measurement in the box here. All right. So you know what the measurement is of these. How long they are. <clears throat> and I will let you know, this is a 30 by 30 painting. And will we have enough to do the 30 by 30 painting? I think we do. All right. One. Fold it first. Two. Yes, we do. Three and four. So I think we would have enough. We would have enough to do a 30 by 40, it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to length, but I'm going to miter the corners. And to do that, is all right so this is the outs this would be the outside edge i think i think i don't know see how do i do that um if i fold it'll be too sh oh, i don't want it to be too short so i'll fold extra here 
what I would do is you have to cut it at a right angle. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. Wait, how did how do we do that? If you fold it down on itself, okay. If you fold it down on itself like this, like this this cut edge, if you fold it against the long edge, that is your right angle. I remember that from doing origami. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that right on that edge. And that's going to be my right angle. Come on now, you. Okay. There. So I have to have the same amount from here over. Um, here's the inside edge, right here. I didn't originally start out to be a frame tutorial here, right there. So what I want to do, stop. Is take this and put it on the inside edge where I made that little snip and cut it. And you see, I'm cutting it the long way here to that snip. Mm -hmm. This should be point to point. Yes! Yay! Alrighty then. Now, I need four more of these. <laughs> Three more of these. Or four sides. You've already got a right angle there, okay? So what you can do is put it back to back and cut the next one. And that way you have one here, if we had put there, right? And one here, ta-da! Look how good those corners, that corner matches. Can you see that? That's perfect, yes! So you need two more like that. Take the edge, one like that. So that's the not the other one. Oop, I don't want to mess it up now. Because it has to be sort of precise. This foamy stuff is so easy to cut. There we go. That's one side, right? And that one. Alright, kind of stick it down got sticky left on the edges, so I'm to stick it on. And I need one more. I have this edge. What I'm going to do is put this, I don't think it matters because it's the same top and bottom. If you had a different, if it was one, one way, like if you had one side, the pattern would go like really thick to really thin or with different, then you have to watch how you how you cut it to make sure you have your angles. If it's exactly the same, then who cares, right? All right, that's the extra. Here we go. There we go. There we go. And here we go. So when I'm finished fixing this, I will spray mount it onto the foam board. And now I've cut these corners out. And I will adjust it slightly. And look, I'll have to pull you back out again, huh? Look at that framed. It's nice. That'll be really pretty, won't it? Now, like I said, I wouldn't use this cheap stuff on a, a super expensive painting. That would just be ridiculous. But for a small painting that, you know, I just love this. Jesus walking on the beach. This would be pretty, just the way it is, on foam board. And you can easily put um, a little hook on the back of it 
or you could put a string to the to the back of it and hang it off of a string. So that's what I'm going to do with that type of uh, foam thing. And I, like I said, the company right down there. Let me put this away, and I'll show you the next box. That bag full. Here's the next bag of goodies. Again, the company right down there. Ready for the crinkly poo. There we go. I have four diamond paintings from this group. And let's see which ones I got. I remember. This one is a 30 by 40. It's a bathtub. It says the baths. There's an S on the end. The baths parlor. P A R L O U R. It's got the European uh, <clears throat> name for it. It is comes with the basic kit, and I like it. They're all in their little kitted up baggies. The number it's uh, 22 different colors here, and let's see, it is square. I sometimes have trouble with square paintings from the other the um, overseas manufacturers because they pop. So we'll see. We'll see about these drills and see if there's any that are misaligned. You have to really look for the junk in them because there'll be, there'll be drills that don't, they're not resin drills like Diamond Art Club or one of the other good companies, Craftably or one of them. But it, it's just a range of bathroom colors. Okay, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pull that one up. With the, the thumbnail at the top. I put it back in the bag with the thumbnail at the top so that when I go to look for it, I just have to peek at the top. All right, what's this one? I'm going to roll this the other way around. Oh, okay. This is guinea pigs. <laughs> I love guinea pigs. I'm kind of allergic to them now, but I love guinea pigs. This has 22 colors. Talk about pretty spring one, huh? Basic kit. And the bags, the drills are back. This is round because it'll be a real fast and fun one. It's got a lot of, um, of confetti in it. These are pretty colors. The teal is beautiful. Yep. And the little baggies, which is a great way to do it. And they're cute. And they're cute. It's adorable. Adorbs. 40 by 30. And the thumbnail's on the other end, so I'll wrap it this way. Mom's out in her garden. And it's an overcast day, but it's perfect to be outside. Perfect to film. No, a lot less glare. This is neat. This is an abstract of mountains. 28 colors. It's a round. 30 by 40. Let's see. I can straighten it out. If they want to curl, what I like to do is peel the film back, and then, <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. What I like to do is peel the film back, and slowly put it back down, and rolling it the opposite direction will, will help. I don't get anything that's not um, poured glue anymore. It just isn't worth it. I like the abstract look. I mean, it brings in the, the trees and the opposite, the mirror image of the tree at the bottom. It's just neat. One of those rolly uh, frames might be 
good on it. All right, so here is the drills. They're not in individual packages, but they are in the uh, train pack. We call it trains. And they're teals and greens and blues. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. All right, I like to roll it up with the drills in it. And so that the, the picture is showing at the top. Okay, stuff it in here. Come on, get back in there. Just be careful that the end doesn't curl as you're putting it back in. All right, and the last one is a little bit bigger. <laughs> the other end is already open. Silly me. well. All right, this is a 40 by 50. It's a little bit bigger. Oh, look at the colors. Ta-da! Yes, it's a cross with the rainbow colors behind it. I think absolutely beautiful. 24 colors and it's round, a round painting. Same basic kit. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to roll it the opposite direction so that it releases. Do not do this with double-sided adhesive. And the way you can tell is the poured glue always has a clear cover on it. Double-sided adhesive has a has a white, um, a white, full white cover on it. I think it's beautiful. Okay. Color blocking and confetti on the beach. Alright, I'm going to roll it up again. Alrighty. All right. Well, that is today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, um, I hope you join me on May 13th for the next giveaway drawing. And here comes the truck I have to shut up now. So I hope you join me on May 13th for the next giveaway. And um, don't forget to get your membership questionnaire in before that time and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And thank you if you already are here. Uh, I have some new things coming up. I have another new um, unboxing to do from a different company than I have bought from before. And I have a storage idea video coming up. So. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, divas. It's trucks. Okay, divas. See you later. Bye.